So in CADWorks, there's a way for you to change the length of variable length items. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. So welcome back to another video. Uh, in this one, I'm going to show you how to change the length of variable length items. Uh, inside of CADWorks. So what are variable length items? So those are items that you can change the length to. I know, you know, amazing with that title in there. Uh, but basically, um, control valves, uh, RVs, uh, relief valves, uh, orifice plates, uh, you can change the length of those as you need as long as that has been set up in your uh, config file. And we're going to show you how to do that and, you know, go through the prompts of what does it do when it asks you about the variable length. So let's get started. So basically what you have to do is go into your project setup first. Okay. And uh, in 2023, it's right here. Uh, if you're a typer like me, you can just type in setup, enter, and then you go into your config file. And inside of piping rules, okay, so you have general and all these, you go to piping rules, and you come down here and you go variable length assignment, okay? So right now we have it set to use catalog. So that's going to prevent you from... Uh, making any changes to length. So we want to change that. So we're going to change, we're going to click right there and we're going to say show options. Okay. And so we're going to hit uh, that and we're going to hit save changes. Okay. And let, let the wheel spin. Okay. And then we're going to close this out. Okay. So like I said, variable length items are, um, you know, items like control valves, RVs, um, you know, orifice plates, um, you know, bleed rings, stuff like that. That it is set in there by default by CADWorks. So we're going to go down here. We're going to put a control valve here. Okay. So we're in spec 150 and we're going to scroll down and we are going to go to control valve. Okay. Well, here's our control valve, 150. So we're going to click on that. And then right here, it says uh, pick point, control pick point, or length, start, middle, or the last point. Okay, so we're going to hit length. Okay, and we're going to zoom in on here, and we're going to actually give this, let's say, 24. So this is going to be a 24-inch valve, okay? So 24, okay? And now you can do from the end point, or you can do it from the middle. Um, so I'll show you that. Right now we're at the end point, so we can go to the middle, and now we're to the middle of the control valve. So we're going to pick uh, somewhere on this line, okay? Shift, right-click, and then we're going to go to nearest. And we're going to pick this guy right here, right here. Okay. And it's asking us how far do we want to go down. We're just going to say there. And then it's going to come in. And you can see that it give, gave us our, our bolts and gaskets. Um, I'm in sti I still am in advanced graphics mode, so it's actually showing you uh, that. Now, let's say we wanted the next control valve that we have from uh, instrumentation is from, you know, is a 24 inch. Uh, or I did 24 inch on this one, okay? We're going to do 36 inches. Uh, so we're going to click on control valve again, okay? And we're going to go to length. And that's very important. You've got to make sure you do length first, okay? And we're going to go 36. And now you can see that this valve is way longer than this one. Okay. So we're going to pick this point right here. Okay. 
and uh, it says use default length. Yes, there. Okay, there, and there's our control valve. Uh, RVs are a little bit different. I'll show you those real quick. So uh, let's see. We've got. I don't think I have any control. Uh, let me reduce my size. Uh, angle valves. I don't think it's under angle. No. Okay. So let me reduce my size. Let's go to a two inch. So relief valves are a little bit different. So uh, a relief valve. Uh, starts out at one size and uh, goes up to a bigger size to relieve the pressure. Okay, so those are a little bit different. So what you got to do is you got to make sure that your uh, your main your main size and your reduction size are set, uh, and your your cat administrator should have added those into the spec for you. Uh, with certain size ranges, okay? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a four by three. Uh, scroll down. Uh, here's our relief valve. And there is uh, a relief valve. So 150 by 150. It could be anything, uh, just whatever. Uh, so we're going to, again, click on it. It brings it in. It says uh, length, pressure, relief, or corner. Okay, so we're going to say length first. And so length of the pressure size. Okay, so the the size that typically is downstream, you know, um, or upstream, not downstream, upstream. Uh, we're going to say this one is, you know, 24 inches. Okay. And then, you know, relief uh, of the relief size. So we're going to say this one's 36 inches. We're going to make it big. Okay. And we're going to go here. And there is our ridiculously sized re relief valve. Um, very large. Uh, don't know why you want one that big, but you have it that big. And you can see that the pressure side is the, you know, is 24 inches and the relief side is 36 inches. So that's how you do that. So. Hope that helps you uh, understand variable length items inside of CADWorks and how to make your own uh, lengths uh, so you don't have to wait for your CAD administrator to build those in. Uh, you can go ahead and manually change them uh, on the fly as you need to. Uh, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if there's any videos you'd like for me to cover, uh, please let me know down in the descriptions below. I read those. Uh, gives me new ideas, um, and I have some new ones coming along uh, that came from those suggestions. So uh, remember, uh, until next time.